getting this. Amen. Tell your neighbor, don't just have knowledge, don't just have knowledge. With, excitement. with excitement, but knowledge, with, knowledge. With, a with a foundation. So I bear what they have a zeal of God, not according to knowledge. They've been ignorant of God's righteousness. They've been ignorant of what? God righteous and went by establish their own right and have not submitted itself to the what? To the righteousness of, God. to the righteousness of, it's quickly to verse 8. But what does it say? The word is near you. What does it say? The word is near you. Verse 8, what does it say? The word is near you. Come on, where is the word? Somebody say, where is the word? Is the word? So I said, what does it say then? The word is near you in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of, faith. that's the word of faith which we that's the word of faith which we y'all gonna get this tonight that's the word of faith that we preach but if I'm chasing hard after knowledge I said to you tonight the just shall live by faith and I said this previous time and we get faith by hearing the word but then God has to reveal himself to us and why does God reveal himself why does he teach us why does he want us to grow because everything in life pertaining to life and godliness is in the knowledge of him but you first have to get the appetite for the knowledge So, so the word is near you it's in your heart where is it where is it? And where else? Come on, come on, come on. I want you to get this. Where is the word? And what did I tell you? The word was a two-edged sword. And why is it saying it's in your heart? Because the word has to become part of your intellect. Your heart is another word for your spirit. The word can't just be in the soul arena where you're excited about it. You can't just be excited. Sometimes you're not going to be excited. You just lost a son. You just had death in your family. You have a financial tragedy. You have this, that, and the other. Sometimes you're not even excited. That's right. right. Amen. Amen. But because I've hid the word in my heart, yeah. I might not sin. Yeah. Because it's in my heart, I'm living my life now based on what I know. You're right. Amen. Not just what I heard. Amen. Amen. You get this tonight? So he said, if you confess with your mouth the, the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you're going to be what? Say. You're going to be what? Say. So how dare somebody come and tell you, you're not say. Amen. Mm. Amen. So what I thought I was. See, you don't know. Amen. Your salvation is based on excitement. He said, with the heart one believes, and the righteous with the mouth confession is made. So it says, what the scripture says, uh, whoever believe on, the, on him will be not be put to what? Shame. Then he goes on, verse 17 and says, so then faith cometh by Hearing. hearing by and then in Romans I won't go there 16 and 17 chapter 1 uh, I'm not ashamed of the gospel for it's the power of God under salvation to everyone that believe and in it God has revealed itself to us from faith to faith God has done what God has done what how many chasing hard after knowledge tonight Amen. somebody say victory, victory. Is, in is in what I know all right quickly 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 let me see where I want to go we need to prove ourselves in the knowledge of God. We'll know as we follow on to know. He will, as he pledged, and as fruit of his favor, give us more knowledge of himself. And the earth shall be full of his knowledge. Somebody saying the earth shall be full of his knowledge. Quickly over to Isaiah 11, 9. And I'll end. Isaiah 11, 9. Isaiah 11, 9. Y'all hear me tonight? Amen. What are we chasing hard after? Knowledge. What are we chasing hard after? Knowledge. What are we chasing hard after? Knowledge. And in and, and, and Isaiah 11, I want to start at verse 1. I said 9, but I'll, I'll go to verse 1 so you'll understand it. And then I'll read down to verse 9 and I'll end. Possibly <coughs> verse 10. Notice it says, when we chase chasing hard after knowledge, he talks about a, a prophetic word. Here we call one of the major prophets because he writes a lot or have a long chapter, a long book here. He said, there shall come forth a rod from the stem of Jesse. Yes. What's going to come out of Jesse? A rod. Wow. Now, you got to know who Jesse is. Now, Jesse's David's father. Yes. And Jesse is considered, not just giving David the credit, but Jesse is the considered the root, yes. the foundation. And a branch shall grow out of his roots. Wow. What's going to grow out of his roots? Yes. Now, who is this branch? Y'all, let's see this. Right. Verse 2. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding is going to be in him. The spirit of counsel and might. The spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. How many know everything we need is in Christ tonight? 
God has given us everything pertaining to life and godliness in Christ. And when you know this, you're going to get the rest of these verses. Nothing that you encounter because of what you know yeah. turns you around. Cool. Verse 3 says, his delight is the fear of the Lord. And he shall not judge by the spirit, uh, sight of eyes, I'm sorry, nor decide by the hearing of ears, but with righteousness. He shall judge the poor and decide uh, with uh, equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth. And with the, what, breath of his lips, he shall slay the wicked. The righteous shall be the belt of his, what, loins, and the faithfulness the belt of his waist. Listen here. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb. Yeah, right. I want y'all to get this now. See, it's what you know. Amen. Somebody says, what you know. So what is Isaiah saying to us? Once I know Jesus, once I find this root, once I find this branch, once I be rooted in Christ, it's saying it's going to be so peaceful. Some of you got to get this. The, 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 the lamb and the wolf Amen. laying in the same bed right. because of what they know. The lamb and the wolf go lay together. The leopard shall lie down with the young goat. Mm -hmm. The calf and the young lion and the fattening together. And the little child shall lead. So now you got a child leading because of knowledge. Mm -hmm. It's what we know. Amen. Knowing Christ. The cow, the bear, the bear shall what? Right. Graze. Now you got a cow and the bear eating the same food. Sitting next to each other. Amen. Are you following? Anybody ever seen a household that got a cat and a dog? It always amazes me because the dogs I raised were always chasing every cat. Amen. There was no way we could have a cat in the house and have a dog. We even had one dog climb the tree and went after a cat. <laughs> I mean, he went up the tree. It was on the branches. We had a Doberman picture. My brother, we was telling his dog. All of us had our different dogs. That was his dog. But we was calling him crazy. And, and a cat came in the Doberman picture and jumped, ran up the tree. Mm. Along with the cat. And we, we was telling your dog done lost his mind. I mean, now he climbing <laughs> trees. <laughs> but it must have been something he knew. <laughs> the cow and the bear shall graze. The young ones shall lie down together. The lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play. Listen to me. A nursing baby shall play by the cobra's hole, the most deadliest snake. Listen to me. When you get the knowledge of Christ, you get peace that surpasses yeah. Amen. all understanding. That keeps your heart and mind. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. All of us that get so troubled over everything, you know why we get so troubled and disturbed? It's all about what we don't know. Yeah. And sometimes we're not basing it on what we do know. If God be for me, who can be against me? A, a nursing baby going to play by the cobra's hole. And the weaned child shall put his hand in the viper's den. Why is all this going to happen? Why is all this happening? Verse 9, everybody read it loud. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all the holy mountain. Why? The earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the water. Boy, when you get the knowledge of God. Tell your neighbor, when you get the knowledge of God. Man, you got peace. Say, look it here, look it here. When you know something, the most dangerous thing doesn't move you because of who you know. And look how we just, all of us, we get so troubled. Sometimes I have to almost slap myself. You know, I get annoyed sometimes when things trouble me. Because I, I think, how did I even let that move me? Amen. 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 We all been moved by things, it's simple things. But all of a sudden you move, you got to say, wait a minute. How did I, with what I know. Sure you're right. Amen. Anybody know God is able? Amen. Anybody know he can do exceedingly abundantly above all you? Yeah. But the doctor said I got six months. With what you know. Amen. Amen. But you don't understand. I lost my job. But with what you know. You already know. He said, Lord, I'm with you always. That's right. Amen. I'm more than a conqueror. That's right. Amen. How many ever said, I don't know what I'm going to do? I understand tonight. Jesus prophesies this. And these signs shall follow them that believe. 
They're going to lay hands on the sick. That's what he's talking about. They'll, they'll drink deadly poison and it won't harm them. They'll, 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 they'll pick up serpent. That's what he's talking about, danger. When danger comes, I tell you, I get disturbed. I don't know about you. Based on what I know, I get disturbed when things I allow things to bother me. Amen. Even for a split second. When something alarms me, I don't know about you, it, it, it always starts right here in the core of me. When I'm alarmed, I feel it right here because it's wrestling against my spirit. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the word, because it's my emotions, my feelings, my appetite, my passion, my desire, all of those things are wrestling with my intellect. Amen. But the only thing that settles that upset spirit man or that upset stomach, I got to take an a, 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 a X-lax or a relaxer. Are I got to put something in there to kill that acid. I got to put something in there to kill that pain. And what is it? I got to get a word. Right. Right. Preparation of the heart belongs to man. The answer of the tongue is from the Lord. Amen. The next time you find yourself disturbing, it ain't gonna happen. I'm telling you, that's the only thing that sustained me and brought me through. Amen. It's what I know. Amen. There ain't no natural reason for me to still be standing. My Lord. Other than grace. Amen. Are you following me? And then you got to think about it, it's only by his grace. That's right. That's right. Amen. So what you have to do is submit yourself totally to his grace. And you got to act just like the cow and the leopard and the, the child at the yeah. cobra's hole. You know, other words, if God be for me. If my victory is in that cobra's mouth, you better look out. Are y'all following me? If my victory is in that lion's mouth, you better look out. So the lion realized, man, this man knows something. This man is pop. So the lion just go ahead and lay down next to me. The wolf just go ahead and lay down next to the lamb. Because it say, wait a minute, he knows something. Amen. How many tonight know Amen. something? Amen. How many tonight know the Lord? Amen. How many tonight have the knowledge of Christ? Amen. Somebody shake yourself tonight. Shake yourself. Say shame on, shame on me. How did I let that simple thing move me? I should have rejoiced in what I know. Somebody said tonight his knowledge covers the earth like the water covers the sea. Say God, I receive your knowledge. I'm chasing hard. After your, After your knowledge, I understand tonight. I understand. My, victory My victory is in what I know. What I know. My, praise My praise is in what I know what I and not what I'm going through. I'm so going somebody through. say, tonight, tonight I'm going to put a V in my praise. Y'all go ahead and put a V in your praise. Stand up and give Come on, put a V.